In this video lesson, we'll be exploring five forms of energy. To get the most out of this lesson, students will need the guided video notes. You can download these and the other extension activities using the link in the description. Every day, we see energy get transferred from place to place, and it happens in several different ways. Today, we're talking about five forms of energy. Mechanical, electric, light, thermal, and sound. We can use the acronym MELTS to help us remember all five. The M stands for mechanical. For example, you might move your legs and transfer energy to the wheels of your bike. Or you might see the wind push a windmill and make it turn. Or water moving fast down a river can push a turbine and make it spin. Anytime something is physically moving something else, we call that mechanical energy. And then there's the type of energy that comes out of outlets that you see in the sky during storms. We call this type of energy electric energy. Electric energy is all around us. Like when you plug in a cord and the energy gets transferred from the outlet through a wire and into your laptop. Electric energy is transported into our homes through underground cables and through the wires of power lines. Another way energy can be transferred is through light waves. And as you can guess, this form of energy transfer is light energy. Every day, light energy is transferred from the sun to the earth. Light waves travel to plants and help them grow. And light energy travels to solar panels, where they are then turned into other forms of energy. When we turn on a light bulb or a flashlight, light waves are produced. And right now, light waves are traveling from this screen to your eyes. The sun's heat also travels down to us and warms our body. This kind of warming energy is called thermal energy. Thermal energy is also produced by your oven when you bake a cake or from your stove when you're boiling some water. Fire also produces thermal energy. And finally, there's sound energy. Sound waves produced by speakers or headphones get transferred from the devices to our ears. Or when a cat meows or a dog barks, you are hearing the sound waves produced by their vocal cords. Your ears are constantly taking in sound energy from the things around you. Now let's see if you can identify these five forms of energy on your guided notes. Pause the video now and correctly place the forms of energy in the spaces here. Nice job. Now that you've had time to review, it's time to test your knowledge using some real-world examples. I'll present you with some different scenarios, and you'll write what form of energy you think is being transferred on your guided video notes. After the video is over, you can review your responses using the answer key slides. Reminder, you can pause the video after each section while you fill in the blanks. Okay, let's look at our first set of scenarios in section number six. First, a speaker is plugged in and energy is sent from the outlet to power the device. What form of energy is being transferred? Then the speaker produces vibrations that are sent to our ears, which let us hear the music. What form of energy is being transferred here? Next, let's look at section number seven. First, Energy is traveling from the sun to solar panels here on Earth. What kind of energy is being transferred here? And then the solar panels transform that energy and send it to places where it can be transferred into vehicles to charge them up. 
What form of energy is being transferred here? On to the next. In section number eight, water is first traveling down a river and pushing a hydropower turbine and making it spin very fast. What form of energy is being transferred when the water is pushing the turbine? Then the turbine converts that into a new form of energy that is sent through power lines and into people's homes. What form of energy is being transferred here? Now let's take a look at section nine. First, energy is transferred from an outlet into a TV. What form of energy is being transferred here? Then, when the TV is turned on, it transfers energy to the viewer in two different ways. It sends energy to our eyes and it sends energy to our ears. What two forms of energy are being transferred here? Almost done. Let's finish with section number 10. First, wind is pushing a turbine on a windmill and making it spin. What kind of energy is being transferred here? Then that energy is converted and is transferred to appliances in a home, like the ovens, microwaves, and refrigerators. What kind of energy is being transferred here? Finally, we see the stove in the oven use that energy to create heat and warm up a pot of water until it begins to boil. What form of energy is being transferred from the stove to heat the pot? Great work. After you review your answers, you can do some coloring or maybe chat about these ideas using the discussion slides. See you next time.